The subject of this tutorial is open E tuning, and as with other open tunings, we can produce chords by just strumming open strings. So let's take a look at the pitches involved, and then we'll look at some of the benefits of this particular tuning. Your sixth string is going to be the same as usual with an E string. What's unusual about this tuning is that some of the other strings are actually tuned sharper than usual, so do be careful that you don't break a string as you do it. Um, try not to use the heaviest gauge possible on your guitar, and if you use a lighter gauge, sometimes you can get away with tuning up a little bit more. So your fifth string is going to be tuned up a whole step to a B note. Your fourth string will also be tuned up a, four, up a whole step to an E note, and your third string will be tuned up a half step to a G sharp. Your second and first string will remain the same on an E and a B. And so strumming that gives us an, an E major chord, so you notice that all those notes are found in an E major. Well, there's uh, some neat things we can do with this. Of course, we can strum and produce a major chord, but also we can bar six strings and produce major chords as well. Leaves your other three fingers free to make embellishments and add other tensions. Uh, some other things that you can do with this tuning that are kind of interesting. Um, for instance, on an open E chord, we can take a fingering that we'd normally think of as E major in a standard tuning, and we can play that and then slide it up two frets, and this produces a nice fill over an E major. A similar thing can be done on the other major chords in the key of E. We can take an A major chord and add the rest of what's normally seen as a major bar chord onto that. We do the same for the B. So in the context of a song, get some interesting sounds. Well, in our next segment, we'll take a look at some chords commonly associated with the key of E major, and we'll look at how we have to alter those chord fingerings in order to get them to work with this tuning. So that starts with a uh, slide from the 4th fret to the 5th fret on the 2nd string, you could use your 3rd finger, then the open 1st string. And so for harmonics, what you want to do is just take your finger, your 3rd finger, across the 12th fret, right on top of the fret itself, and you're actually not pushing the strings down.